Okay, welcome back. Um, you see the last video that the lathe's running, we've had it powered up. We have done a test cut with it. Um, it's just a bit of alley bar. And currently, I bought all this stuff, but I've still only got one tool holder. So, it was a rough test cut. Just using this insert here, not very good. And the feed was a little bit higher to be fair. But um, that's a six, just over a six inch test cut. And it is out by, I think, 0 0.007 microns um, over the six inch distance. And we haven't leveled the rear yet to try to nod the head or try to play with any adjustment. That is just how it was set when they done it. So we've got the bed roughly level, we've done the test cut, I'm happy. So as far as that's concerned, everything's good. Now, the spindle bearings are quietened right down, as you can see um, in previous videos, once the oil was in there. And there we are, we've got new oil in it, but what I'm thinking of doing is changing the bearings, because it bugs me now that I've got them and I'm not gonna change them. Now there's three main bearings on the spindle, relatively meaty but not very expensive. I think these three bearings, um, I think that's the rear balancing bearing type support. I think the three of them were around 220 quid for all three. And when you're looking in here, you've got a locker in here and a locker in at the back. And obviously you've got this section on the rear. Now from what someone um, I saw some photos of a company on Facebook, and I'm, apologies, but I can't remember their name. And what happened uh, was I come across a post of theirs where they changed the bearings in an XYZ Proton 410. Now it's a slightly different lathe with a slightly different headstock. Um, but I asked the, the fella, when you changed that spindle, because you had the whole spindle out doing the bearings, did everything have to come out or does this spindle come out on its own? Um, which is obviously a lot less hassle than stripping the whole shebang. And he said, yep, comes out on its own, you can do it independently. So, got the bearings. Before I go too far and put the guards on and this, that and the other and make the access a little bit more difficult, I decided, let's do it, let's change them. I bought them, I paid for them, they're only sitting there and let's do it now because the spindle, either these need tightening or it needs new bearings because they've been dried up and worn out where it's run with no oil, so yeah. Gonna get involved there, strip it down, pull it apart, put the new bearings in, and um, I'll bring you back midway through to show you what we do. Cheers for watching.
quick update. As usual, plans have changed. And as you can see, we've got the spindle out. The spindle's over there. I'm just draining the oil because one of the bearings that I ordered a long time ago, turns out there's a 16 mil width option and there's also a 24 mil width option and I've got the wrong one. Downside is they're both 75 quid and I can't find the receipt for the old one so I can't send it back. Um, so I've got to order a new one which means the spindle can't go back in today. So whilst I've got to order them, I'm also decide I'm gonna change the five bearings that hold the counter shafts and the pulley shaft in there. So yeah, we're draining this oil out and I'll give you a good look around, show you the parts from the laid on the table, get some new bearings ordered. It's Friday now, so I'll see if I can get delivered for Monday and then Tuesday maybe, Tuesday night, I'll get it all put back together. But uh, yeah, I'll bring you back for there anyway. Cheers for watching. selection shaft so this has one of the gears on it um, with a counter shaft above it which comes along and selects for the high low gears uh, I don't know what you'd actually call the shaft or the specific name or part number of it but this sits on here like so and then you have a spacer and a bearing another bearing at the other end bearing at the front now 
this keyway, it's an 8mm keyway and it's good. This shaft is an 8mm keyway, there's an 8mm gauge block and that is good. But the key, now you can see the state of that. Now on this machine, now even though everything is taken apart, when you grabbed the pulley there, which sat on the shaft here, you could rock it back or forward and you clonk, 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 clonk. So it had a lot of play between the gear mesh. Now the gears themselves look good, which is perfect for me because they're crazy expensive. Um, this is the one off the spline shaft. So the gears themselves actually look fine which is really good to see because I was hoping that they weren't worn out. So after taking this apart, it just um, shows that it's the keyway that's knackered. So you can see where it's been in the shaft and it has such a big gear on it and the belt pulley, every time it starts and stops, it's rocking that key. Now, luckily enough, the shaft is well hardened and with the eight mil slip in there that's solid there's pretty much no movement but if you put the key in there you can see how much it's rocking around and that is where my play is coming from so i'm going to order a new keyway get them bearings changed i'm glad i've done that get the bearings changed get the keyway get it all back together and that's going to eliminate a lot of that which is going to be a quite nice because I was a bit worried before I took it apart that um, maybe the gears were badly worn but the gears seem perfect and it's a cheap keyway which is going to be the fix so yeah let's crack on This is the spindle nose bearing and in the 420 Pro turn and I think it's the same in the 425 SLX newer machines bearing 32021X and that's an FAG and we've gone with SKF 32021X that's the front then we've got a 32020X We've got the new one in the bag there again, SKF. And then this is the one that I haven't got that I've just ordered for delivery tomorrow. Um, and this is the tail of the spindle, so it's more of a support bearing than a main bearing. So it sits just on the very end of the housing up here, and the other two sit down here and here. So just showing this bearing here that I've taken off the nose because it wasn't crazy noisy, but as you know, when I got the lathe the oil pump wasn't working and there was no oil in it now if you look here you can see the scoring up of them rollers now they still feel relatively smooth but every single one of them is scored up now maybe this gets like this anyway i've not had one this big um Tape a roller bearing apart out of machine, so I'm not sure what usual scoring is, but there you can see the score. Now we've got them both on a towel. The race is obviously it's old race, but it's clean. Now, if you listen, you can just hear the noise. So that's probably contributing quite badly. And in comparison to the new one, you just can't, you can just about hear it, but you can't feel anything. And this one, you can feel the grind. And obviously you can hear that as well. 
So we've got it removed off of this. We had to take it and put it upside down on a bit of wood on the floor like shown in the photo. And we had to just tap the plate off and this main sleeve here, which comes off of it. So I'm gonna get all this cleaned up properly and laid out ready to go. And then hopefully the four of these new bearings, uh, there's one slightly bigger. These are 6206Z, there's four of them required. There's a 6207Z, one of them required, and the replacement for this bigger bearing here. Hopefully they'll be here tomorrow morning because I paid for Saturday delivery because I just want to get it put back together. Um, it's good to do it while it's fresh in your mind rather than leaving it there for a few days and then wondering what goes where, even though I've took dozens and dozens of pictures. So we're gonna get all this cleaned up, get it all laid out nicely on the table, ready to go for when them bearings turn up, hopefully tomorrow. So join us in a sec. Okay, so welcome back. Now we're all stripped, everything's laid out, waiting for the bearings, paid for a Saturday delivery, so I'm hoping they'll be here tomorrow. And that way I don't forget what I'm doing. I can get them put back in straight away. So let's show you it all stripped down. We've had a bit of a tidy up of our tools. Showed you before, but we're all clean. All the faces clean, ready to go. And then just to show you all the components of the headstock, bar the missing bearings, that is everything. So, down here we've got the chuck guard ring which slides around around the actual spindle itself and has the guard mounted to it which obviously wasn't fitted when i showed you the first video but it will be fitted when i'm all done we've got the triple belt pulley there we've got the speed selector we've got the rear encoder ring for the spindle encoder back cover main gears front housing obviously the actual giant spindle itself some bearings and lock nuts, some new bearings, the counter shaft with the counter gears for the gear selector. And there you go. So yeah, that's all of it, all stripped out and ready to go. So if them bearings arrive tomorrow, fingers crossed, we'll get it put back together and then that'll be it, final time. Button it up, seal it up, run the bearings in, Check the preload. A um, little bit difficult to check the preload, so I think I'm going to play it by ear and see what happens. But you can always nip it up if not, or back it off. But um, yeah, we'll see how we go. Cheers for watching.